Should I call first mate Pete in prison? Yo, Pete, how's it going, mate? Um, I'm filming at the moment. Right, we're about 40 minutes away. I'll follow all the instructions you've given me and I'll try and go around the back. Uh, Captain Buffton's driving. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, try, we'll try and get through and we'll uh, have a chat to you through the fence. So I've got a fresh Rise Above t-shirt for you. Should I give that with the care package or can I chuck that over the fence? Yeah, yeah, give it to the care package because then what I'll do is I'll, 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 I'll send it in. I'll take it straight up to my room. They'll make me open it to see what's inside there. Yeah. And see this food. And then I'll put the t-shirt on and I'll come outside. Oh, right. So what you're saying is they've got to go through the care package to make sure I'm not smuggling contraband into the Covid like, concentration camp, yeah? <laughs> Okay, are they going to try and make me wear a mask? To, do they want me to wear a mask to deliver this care package? You know that's not happening, Pete. No, 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 no
park up next to this red one here. Beyond that. I think he did. Okay, right, so we are live outside Coviet Concentration Camp. I'm here with Captain Bufton. First mate, Peter Spiss, been in contact. We're trying to remain incognito behind this... Uh, camouflage. camouflage behind this, this little container. Uh, we should see Pete any minute soon. You see his, his red rise above t-shirt. We don't... Have you spotted him? Yeah, yeah, he's broke his leg. He, he broke his leg getting into the Indian hospital. Here he comes. Can everyone see? Let me just zoom in. Slow down. There he is, first mate Pete. They can't see him, it's going so slow. You're on video. Pete, have what? Is that as near as you can get? You don't want to come into the bushes. Let me just I get can, it. I can, I go ahead. Where? Where yeah, this way, over here, over here. Ah. It's going to go right. it's the only thing it's We're here live outside Covia Prison. First mate Pete has sneaked over to the fence to chat to us. Did you get your care package, Pete? Yes, I did get my care package. That's good. That's good. How you doing, mate? How you doing? Big up. Rise above, brother. Rise above. I've got you the rabbit wing. First, mate, Pete, what's it like to be back in the country, mate? Uh, not very nice at all. Not very nice at all? No, no, coming back to this, it's grey. We've got too many restrictions. How long are you supposed to be in here for? 10 days, and it's 11 days because your first day doesn't count. Right, and you've been sending me loads of stuff about the conditions in here and we don't want to say too much because we want to save it for next week when you come to the studio yeah, when you're yeah. actually free. It's not good, yeah? It's not good. I, I spoke to people and it's like you're getting treated in prison, better in prison. You're not allowed out for three days. You're allowed two 15-minute breaks. Look at the prison yard. Is it race segregated as well? We have the Muslims over here. We've got first mate Pete, the white supremacist here. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, Where's I'm, the bloods and crypts, mate? There's, there's only, <laughs> so there's over a thousand rooms. Uh, there's only two people just British in here. I'm one of them. Yeah, and he's leaving. Really? What? You were the only... The only two actual British, like, British passports, British born and bred. So these people here are actually coming on holiday to visit their family no, for no. whatever reason, and so, they've got a quarantine as well? So most, most of the people here are from India and Pakistan. Right, okay. That, and, they, and they've got residential... Because obviously that's a flight that you came in on, right? I come on an Indian one, so they have residential rights, so if they don't come back to England, they, they lose their rights. So basically they're paying thousands for their visa, oh. paying all this money, so they can come back here and get their rights to work. And every, all the staff, there's not any English staff, they're all people from India, from Ghana. Well, yeah, all the people that accosted us in the yellow tabards and the high yeah. vis, they were all Indian. Yeah. Um, it's like everything is outsourced, right? So basically, so I've been speaking to some people on my floor, they're from like Goa and India, so I get good uh, chatting to them, say so what they can earn in India one month, they can earn one day here, but they just got to do as they're told. Three tests a day. Three tests a day? Three how tests. many How many times are you getting tested a day? I have to do on day two and day eight. And then so not every day? No, not every day. Day two, day eight. And then, I, um, and then you're allowed out day 10, 12 o'clock at night. Uh, and when's day 10 for you? Uh, that'd be Tuesday. That's Tuesday, 12 o'clock. So, so for episode 33, for next week, you'll have had a couple of days to get home, um, find your feet again, and you'll yeah. be heading over to the studio on Friday night, yeah? Yeah, yeah, definitely. What well, story, guys? It's been mental. Pete, how long were you in India for? Uh, nearly seven months. Seven months. How many different places in India, how many different provinces did you travel to? Uh, I must have done uh, nine different states. Nine different states in India. So I travelled over 8,000 miles. I went all the way from Goa right up north. Right. All through the mount, mount, uh, mountains. How many closer by? Um, so the, the mountains are beautiful. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. And you're free. So no matter where you go, you're on your bike, you're free. I got one stop the whole time on my 8,000 kilometres. And that was because I was on the wrong road. So you went to tourist places, you went out in the sticks, went you were in places sticks. where there's only Indian people, right? Now, obviously, yeah. you were there throughout the whole of uh, the Covietism out there, right? Yeah. Now, I'm not going to say too much now because I don't want to ruin next week, but no one can say that you just went to Goa and partied and saw what party people saw because no. you didn't do that, did you? No, no, I, I did some of the parties, but I've done travel. I've done too much hard touring around India, so I travelled all the way up. I've been through Jaipur, been through Delhi, through Mumbai. I stayed and spent a lot of time in Udaipur, around Rajasthan. Um, up in the mountains and it's nothing it's nothing there's no situation you yeah know. don't say too much because we're going to go into this on friday but i want to set the scene mate you weren't like just going to some parties in goa you weren't just going to a couple of cities this dude did an eight thousand mile round trip of the indian subcontinent and he saw a lot of things which have contradicted what we've been told about india in the mainstream media yeah. this is why pete is our rise above correspondent for india um so yeah 
let's i mean okay. yeah let's go roll on friday roll on friday episode 33 it's been a wicked day so far right so i'm up here um outside coviet prison pete is on the other side of the fence um in captivity we get to hear all about it next week on episode 33. Yeah. Big up. sweet well mate it's good to see you mate it's good to know you're still healthy and well Definitely. Massive respect to first mate Pete. Pete's life matters. No justice, no peace. Free first mate Pete. Um, <laughs> PLM, hashtag PLM. It's rise above, yeah. guys. Just get going. Boss. 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 Sorry, boss. Bye. Well, they certainly didn't like us. Uh, I was filming at the fence. They tried to stop us from driving out. <laughs>